will be too stupid and assemble. They will strip this vehicle and, of course, Rigadon. We assemble. Rigadon. May I hand you over to Corporal Mwazo to run us through this stupid and assemble? A special guest of honor, sir. What you are about to watch here is a stripling and the assembling of TYB Rover 002 oh, among the five constructed yeah. TYB Rovers. Now, the battery, the table has been also been dismantled. They already constructed in pieces to enable the crew or the personnel to move the vehicle from point A to point B as easy as we are watching now. The chairs has also been removed. The engine is also in the progress of losing all the boats. The tailboard has been also been loose and removed. The force recruits among the ten are now moving the tailboard to a safer place before mounting back. The fenders also been removed and the move away from the vehicle. The back of the cab also been removed. Some of them are progress for removing the tire. The wheel screen also will soon be removed from the cab. Watching the back bumper about to be removed. The left fender also removed. Now the windscreen will follow. Please be reminded that this vehicle was not imported. It was done here by this man in front of you. The windscreen also has been removed. The only foreign body in this setup is the tire and of course the engine. Every other thing was fabricated here at Chindit Barracks, courtesy of the military skill acquisition team, ably led by the Commandant Major General Victor Okudili Ezugu, with, with a marvelous support from our Mayor Wu Chief Army Staff, Lieutenant General Toko Yusuf Buratai. Please, a round of applause for these people. Appreciate them, appreciate them. He has taken this Nigerian way to yet another level as part of his vision. The process of removing the engine from the cab and back axle are on the process of dismounting. The TYB Rover 002 has been fixed from the crash, from the iron, here in the Nigerian Army by the MSA team, except the engine, tires and wheel, gearbox, back axle, spring wheel screen, among others. Now the car will soon be moved away. Unbelievable. The engine. Unbelievable. The is Unbelievable. Now the car has been moved. Unbelievable. The engine and the gearbox. Please, shall we continue to be clapping for this man? This is made in Nigeria. In fact, made in Zaria. Made in Depot. Not Zaria. Made in Depot Nigerian Army. City located in Zaria. Here in the empty yard of Depot Nigerian Army. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Your Excellency, His Eminence, all members here present, this is not a Nollywood show. This is not a Nollywood show. We should all appreciate this excellence. Please put your hands together for our brothers and sisters for having gone this far in just less than six months. Please, a round of applause. Keep appreciating them. Keep appreciating them. Thank you. The engine and gearbox are now moved. The chassis. We are separated from the back axle. Only four of them will now move the back axle with tires to another place. The front tires now are on the process of separating from the chassis. Oh, madame et messieurs, nous regardons ce qui se passe. 
les voitures, la voiture qu'ils sont en train de euh, démanteler, là, c est, c est, c est, c est faire ici. C'est une nouvelle voiture. Fait ici, charges. au Nigeria. Oh, we can call it the frame. Azaria ici. Vraiment, c'est incroyable. C'est qu'on est en train de regarder. Vraiment applaudissé. C'est incroyable ce qu'on est en train de regarder. Parce qu'on ne savait pas que c'est possible de faire un truc comme ça ici au Nigeria. Now this is a complete dismantling of TYB Rover 002 comprises a team of Captain A.T. Ibrahim as coordinator Deputy Nigerian Army Military Skill Acquisition Training as an infantry officer and I compromise Abdullah as his assistant ST personnel. He's going now to... Four civilian consultants, Sanusi Adamu, Nafiu Mohammed, Abdulmumin Ibrahim, and Amayo Atle from a graduate from the Department of Mechanical Engineering Ahmad Bell and Valti Zaria. That is a coordinator, Captain A.T. Ibrahim. He is Daikon. Daikon is in trouble. And as we speak, as I run this commentary, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, Depot Nigerian Army already has somebody who has indicated, the Emir of Zozo has indicated interest that he will send his people for their own part of training, a round of applause for his eminence. Please, it is not easy. Keep appreciating these Nigerians. Keep appreciating them. All we need to do is to tax ourselves and things will be done. And once you have the proper leadership, everything can fall in place. Thank you, our reviewing officer. Thank you for this encouragement. Thank you for making it possible to leave a legacy that for years that outlive everybody. I'll leave you, I'll leave even those of your management team. What else can one say? What else can one say? This underscores your movement to Bumusho, where you went to the machine tool industry. It was something else. It was something else. Six months, unbelievable. Yes, from Kakas to Cruz. It's, it's unbelievable. As the process of this mountain park, the TYB Rover 002 in progress, the back axle is about to fix back. Engine has already been fixed back. Not only fixing the vehicle back, the main aim is when the soldiers are on motion with this type of vehicle, encountering an obstacle, can easily be dismounted, move from one place to another, mount it back, and continue their operation. It's just a mini operational vehicle. The cab is now taken back to its position. Madame et Messieurs, ce que nous sommes en train de regarder, ce n'est pas des films en fait. C'est les gens qui viennent de commencer leur entraînement ici, qui ont commencé leur formation ici au Nigeria. Maintenant, voici, ils sont en train de fabriquer une voiture. Regardons. Après la fabrication qu'ils sont en train de faire de suite, ils vont prendre la voiture pour sortir de cette arène. The cab has already been fixed back, tighten other part of it. The back cab is also been fixed. The remaining part of the vehicle will now come back to their position. Et puis quand vous regardez, vous voyez que ils sont très rapides. C'est ce qu'ils sont en train de faire. C'est le travail de Depot Nigerian Army conduit par Major General Victor Ezugu à l'assistance de Lieutenant General T.Y. Brutai. Nous sommes vraiment contents de ce qu'on est en train de voir. The rear body is coming back to its normal shape. So what? Left and right side has been fixed back. Okay, C'est conduit par ce qu'il a l'acquisition du département de déport nigérian ami. 
the car is taking shape. Anyhow, you look at it, it's taking shape. The recoupling, putting finishing patches to, to put it back in the state it was when it was brought into the parade ground. The front doors also are now being fixed. Left and right are coming back to their normal position. The back seats now are turning inward. It's not only coming in with them outward. You can also use the same seat to turn them inward in case of rain, sun, put up the superstructures and mount back the tampon as we can see. The process is on, the cloth, accelerating cable, front bumper, glass, windscreen, everything has been fixed. The front grid now, the bonnets, the tampon is coming up to protect the personnel from rain, sun and other obstacles. It's not only to move outward, but also the seat can now be turned inward, the same seat, the same position. The Nigerian Army MSAT, an initiative of the Port Commandant Major General Bio Izugu. TYB Rover 002 is coming back as TYB Rover. Now the front tires are now being checked for a tightening family in case of obstacle ahead. <laughs> 